Hi everybody, it's Dr. Razy. I'm recording a video to show you how it is that we are going to be delivering lectures and doing office hours and labs this fall 2020 for Phys 3110. And we're gonna be doing everything through the Blackboard Virtual Classroom. So what I'm showing you here is a screen capture of what Blackboard looks like for me. I'm doing this in July, so it might look a little different by the time you see this. And also I'm in a student preview mode, so you won't have that bar at the top, but you're gonna be seeing something like this on the left side of your screen. So for all the lectures and on the first day of class, it's important that you be able to do this if you have not used it before, we're gonna be using the virtual classroom. So go into the Blackboard site for Phys 3110, find the virtual classroom, click right there. Wait for this to open up. Okay, it opens up. We're going to be using the course room, which right here is right here. It's unlocked, which means it's available to you. We're going to be having the lectures and labs in there. And also, if you and any of the other students ever want to meet and have a place where you can exchange ideas and be seeing each other face to face, this course room is going to be available for you. Uh, office hours will be there. And if there's just something you need to talk about with me face to face over like a homework problem or something, we're going to be meeting in this course room as well. So you click on that. And this panel on the right is going to open up and you're just going to want to join the course room right there. Okay, click on that. Give it a minute. It's connecting. I'm joining as myself as a preview user. I'm the only one in the room. Okay, you're going to want to uh, definitely share your audio with people. So now it's activated and you can see when I'm talking. See how the white bar moves there. So that tells you that for sure it's picking up the audio. Um, there may be times when you want to share video. That's right here. I think during normal uh, office hours, I'll have my video on. You won't need it. Uh, so ordinarily, this would come on right here. Um, it's not coming up for me right now because my software that's recording the screen grab is down in the lower right, right there. Um, but my picture will be right there and you say, yep, it looks good. Um, and that should work just fine. I'm going to say cancel right now because I'm not going to have my video up there. But this is real useful, um, this screen. So you might want to go to the left and open the session menu up here. Um, there, this is where we're going to be leaving down here. Um, there's some other things that you'll be able to do. Um, if, for example, if you want to ask a question down here, you can raise your hand right there. Uh, that'll pop up on my menu and tell me that you actually have a question um, that's going on. But if I'm in the middle of a lecture, I might not see that. So, uh, you know, let's just pretend this is just regular class. There's only going to be about 11 or 12 of us online. Go ahead and just jump in and just say, Dr. Azy, can you stop there for a second? Um, and that's how it's going to work. So get into that virtual classroom. That's really important that you can do that on the first day. We're going to start right on time. So know how to do that. I'm done for the day. I'm going to leave the session. I'll leave it right there. And then you can just skip that review if you want. Now, the cool thing about the virtual cool thing about the virtual classroom is that I'm going to be able to record everything that goes on in that room. So the lectures, your questions, my discussions and everything are going to be recorded as I go through it. And I'm going to be posting those to YouTube as they become available. It does take uh, probably twice as long to get the video ready as it takes to deliver the lectures. So they're going to be available probably the next day uh, to go through those. But I'm hoping that's going to work really, really well. So make sure you can get in there. If you haven't used it before, try it out. You can go in there as soon as the Blackboard site is open. Make sure that your audio and video works. Make sure you see things and I'll see you in class.